and good evening, everyone. An explosion sends seven rail company workers to the hospital. And tonight, we are digging deeper into what happened and the company's background. Our Lexi Suter will be live for us at the University of Kansas Hospital, where doctors are treating two of those victims. But first, our Garrett Hake spoke to those who felt the blast. The people I spoke to said they're used to hearing loud noises coming from the rail yard in their neighborhood. But today's explosion rattled the walls of their homes as well as their nerves when it ignited just after two. From above, you can see how the powerful explosion shredded this rail car maintenance building. Neighbors in the rural area watched thick smoke billow into the sky as something inside continued to burn. When I came out, it was just a big, giant black clouds of smoke coming out of the building back here. People said they felt the explosion as much as they heard it, even hundreds of yards away. When it went off, what I heard, it sounded like there, a cannon got shot off in my yard. GBW Railcar Services, which owns the site, said 17 people were inside the building at the time of the blast. Seven people were injured enough to need medical care, including two with serious burns. First responders said they were relieved the casualties weren't worse. Really, it's, we're, we're very lucky to, that everybody made it out, I, I, in, you know, in my eyes. Investigators believe the explosion's fuel came from a tanker car loaded with gasoline or something similar. How it ignited remains a mystery. The building looked like an explosion had occurred. You know, the, the metal from the building had torn away and insulation hanging out, things like that. Uh, the tanker was still on fire at the time. And fire investigators have finished their work for tonight, but they'll be back first thing tomorrow morning, along with senior management from GBW, working to determine what exactly sparked this explosion. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News. Following the explosion, medics rushed to those victims about 60 miles from GBW Railcar Services near Atchison to the University of Kansas Hospital in KCK. That's where Lexi Suter is tonight. And Lexi, what kind of injuries do these men actually have? Well, Johnny, when you talk about an explosion, injuries can really range from cuts and broken bones to second or third degree burns. And when these two men were brought to the University of Kansas Hospital, they had a little bit of both. They have trauma and they have burns. But good news to report as of 845 this evening, they have been upgraded to fair condition. That is an improvement from six o'clock when they were in serious and critical condition. So they were brought here from the Atchison area to the University of Kansas Hospital by ambulance. The nurse we spoke with says the first responders were able to stabilize them on that drive. Now that is about an hour away, so she said it's a good sign that they didn't need to be airlifted. As soon as they got here, the doctors and nurses had to determine which injuries were most serious and what to treat first. But ultimately, they are being cared for now in the burn unit. The burn and trauma teams, which are two separate teams of physicians and nurses, both responded immediately to this patient, these patients. So um, that those were both being evaluated and treated at the same time. So if they do discover that there is a need to go to the operating room, then the trauma surgeon will take them immediately, um, and then they will be housed on the burn unit, and there will be a joint effort between two teams working simultaneously to address all the injuries. The names and ages of these two victims have not yet been released, but we are expecting to learn more about their conditions again in the morning. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.